everyone, it's Lacey. Welcome back to Paul's and Papers. So I hope you're all having a great day. So I was just down here continuing my work on the uh, Christmas journal that I had started. So you had seen me start this journal here. So I've been working on it and I'm like, well, why don't I just turn on the camera and show you guys what I've been doing? So this is a little bit different than some of my videos. This is just more of a craft along with me. Got my buddy here with stitchers, I'm knocking everything down. But he likes to lay here with me and I've got my a coffee, so I'm good to go. All right, so what I had in mind, um, what I was thinking, what I was starting here, I'm gonna take this beautiful portrait. I mean, like how gorgeous is that photo? Um, so I wanted to kind of frame it out on this page here and make this uh, and put a tab on it and make this into a journaling card. And then I wanted to use some like um, parchment and I wanted to create a frame so that this slides into the parchment, if you understand what I mean. So I'll just, I'm just gonna start going and then you can, then you can see what maybe I'm talking about. So now I'm just debating whether I want to round my corners on these. Maybe I'll just do a small, like a small rounding. So I've been enjoying this, uh, doing this Christmas journal. Um, just, I, I really am loving the, the colors um, on these. So now I'm just thinking, do I want to round that and then leave the outsides squared? Kind of looks good. Okay. So then I'm just going to re-ink up here. And you'll notice Stitch will not move no matter what I do to him. Like, you know, if you ha ever have an animal craft with you, they own the table. So I do not own my desk. And just in case you're wondering, I, I don't own my own desk. All you uh, animal people will completely understand that. And the funny part is, is if you have an animal, you know, you won't make a move. At least I won't. I'm just like, oh, you're gonna sit here with me. How nice of you. And you definitely don't push him away. I know, how weird are we? So yeah, I accommodate and I just move so he can sit. <laughs> uh, yes. But you're my buddy, aren't you? Of course you are. Okay, so I am going to put it on, I think I wanted to, I had a page here that I thought would look good. Uh, yes, this green one here. So I thought this would look good on here, and I want to, I want it to pull from this side. Oh crap, I wanted to put this under there. Okay, hurry up. I wanted my tab to be under, so something kind of like that, I believe. Is that far enough? Yeah, that looks kind of good. Okay, so let's do that. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to end up eventually sewing around all these things too, so I'm not too worried about glue overly gluing. Cuz I will eventually just sew all the way around. But how pretty. I mean, I found these uh portraits like that and was uh thinking how can you make a pretty, you know, journaling card or something out of them to like kind of highlight the portrait part of it. So then I have here, I have some of this um, uh, pretty like holly berries and leaves. And uh, I thought that would make a good frame on this green page. And these here I, uh, I bought from, uh, uh, pink monarch prints on Etsy. Um, I have a lot of some of the background pages in here too. Um, they're hard to see because what I had done, I coffee dyed these after I printed them because I wanted that real watercolory effect, you know, like here, like the really blurring. So I did the coffee dyeing after I printed them. Um, so if you don't want your papers to run, you, that's why you have to just print on coffee dyed paper. But I really wanted that really flowy, like, like this here, like just really muted, like right washed out look. This is another one from her. So 
if you see some of these background pages, th these are where they came from, but they may not look the same because, like I said, I copy dyed them. So now I want to have my frame be larger than my picture. So I think my picture was I printed these like a four by six. Right. Yeah, almost a four by six. Okay, so I thought I had to do. And then I added a thing there. So if I do at least a four and a half, or maybe four and three quarters, can I get that four? Oh yeah, I can get four. I can get four and three quarters. And then if I do four and three quarters by at least seven. Okay, let's try that. So let's get another sip of my coffee here. Okay, so I want to cut this. Um into four by six. So where is my pencil? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four and three quarters. So here and three, four, six, at least a seven. Okay. So I'm just going to use my cutter here because it's fast and easy. I'm going to have to use my good old utility knife to cut out this picture frame part. Okay, so, so I wonder if you're all getting into full-blown Christmas mode yet. I, uh, I've been doing pretty good. I've I've gotten some some you know presents already wrapped for the kids. Um, I've got a lot of my shopping done, so I think I've been doing pretty good. Um, being out in public though, the stores are getting crazy busy already. Okay, so I want my frame. How big do I want my frame? If my picture will fit. So now I'm just kind of thinking. Maybe a half. I can do about a half an inch on each side. Okay, so I have to do close to a half an inch on each side. And then I think I got more give on the top. So, and I'm only measuring, and the whole thing doesn't have to show because this is going to be a picture frame and this is going to just tuck behind it. So as long as it fits behind it, you know, I don't have to see every bit of the, the picture. It's just more for a, for effect. So I think I'll just, maybe I'll just do a half an inch frame all the way around. So that would be uh, close. We'll just make that up. Okay, so that's approximately a half an inch all the way around. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to cut this frame out, maybe. No, I didn't do a half. I think I only did a quarter. Oops. Yeah, I think I only did a quarter of an inch. Okay, well that's what you get when you do the, the, the crafting with me video compared to the I prepared something and know what I'm doing. Well, actually, that's not true. I really, I'm, I'm not sure I ever know what I'm doing. Okay, let's just see if we can get a straight line. Now I'm just going to try to cut my frame out here. And this is kind of a neat little thing. I think it's going to look pretty cool when it's all said and done. You know, I, uh, I did that video, the parchment paper um, book page video, and uh, so now I'm trying to come up with ways how I can, I have a lot of that parchment paper. So I gotta keep finding ways to, 
to use it. So I thought this, uh, the picture frame idea was kind of a neat way. And I also watched um, uh, Junie Desiree, I think her name is. Um, she has a YouTube channel. I think it's called Junie Desiree, but her Etsy shop is Willowbound Journals. She did a video this morning that I watched and she was doing vellum. So you, I mean, this could really work with vellum too. You don't, you don't have to use the parchment. So pretty much any, um, just like a semi-transparent surface or paper would work on this. Um, and a vellum is a little bit sturdier, you know, than, um, I wouldn't use like tissue paper or anything. I think tissue, tissue paper is way too thin, but like this parchment paper has got a little bit more thickness to it. So anything that's a little bit heavier than tissue paper. I just think tissue paper is going to rip on you. Okay, so almost done here. Just one little corner. Okay, so there. You know, and if you wanted a bigger, because here's the issue. If you wanted a bigger, um, I probably could have made it bigger. But if you wanted a thicker picture frame, then you definitely could. And that's what I'm, now I'm, I'm kind of worried. Is this going to be too thin? Hmm. Let's, let's try it and we'll see. I'm just wondering now if this is going to be too thin. But I am going to sew around it so the threading is going to give it a little bit more structure. But... Um, I may have to recut this just to make it a little bit thicker because now I'm, I'm concerned that it's going to, I don't want it to, you get it too thin and then you're going to have issues with it wanting to break. The thread will definitely help, but let's just, okay, let's just see what we got. This is definitely a trial and error thing. Like I said, I uh, just didn't turn the camera on while I'm working, so. This is what you get. It's just the, the raw footage. Is that what you call it? The raw footage? Uh, I haven't prepared. Okay, so I'm just going to use glue stick. And then I am going to... parchment paper to be flat but yeah this would be like I said I think this would be really pretty with vellum too okay so let me give that a second to to adhere and I am going to stitch around it too so that's definitely going to help just in case the parchment thought it was going to go anywhere I'm going to make sure it doesn't have any other plans. Okay. So every time I try to pause the video and take you over to my sewing machine, it ends up I screw something up. So I am just going to take this over to my sewing machine and I will be right back. Okay, so I am back. And I just did a straight stitch all the way around. Um, if you can see that, just went all the way around with a straight stitch. And I have currently like some white thread in my machine. I was going through my threads the other day and um, I typically use black. I like black thread just because it shows up a lot. And I, I just, I like the contrast of seeing the black. Um, but I found out, I think I have like, six uh, spools of, I won't see that side, I think I have like six spools of white thread and so I don't really care for pure white thread so I thought well if I use the white I can use my ink and grunge it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more tannish so that's why I'm using white thread. Not my favorite so I'm just gonna, I just kind of want to Put a little bit of grunge on that uh, parchment paper there. I don't want it to be so neat and clean. OK, 
Okay, so now the idea is to, here's my page. Um, I would glue it on three sides and then this would just become like a pocket that would get tucked in there like that. So I think with the thread on it and then if I glue it, it should be good. Okay, so I'm going to try that. And I'm just going to glue, where's my, out? Oh, this is my, okay, hang on here, I got a little bit extra. Uh, uh, you stay out of my, you don't need coffee, mister. No, thank you. No one's trying to steal my coffee. You know that's sacred, you can't have the coffee. The hair on it. be the first time I've drank hair. I think you stick your head in my drinks all the time, don't you? Really? Really, Stitch? You're going to just park yourself? Well, of course I am. Okay, so does anybody else have... Okay, this is for all of you who have, have cats. Um, when you... If you have... If you're... Um, put up a Christmas tree... Do your cats climb it? Yeah. Luckily, my cats are all older. I mean, Stitch and uh, his sister, Lilo, um, they're the youngest ones that we have. And they're both, how old are you, three? You're three or four by now? Yeah. So they don't tend to climb my tree, but my mom has a brand new kitten and this thing is wild hi mom um but her kitty cat's crazy and she was wondering if the dang cat was going to climb the tree so she said she put the tree up and uh she goes he didn't bother it trees up doesn't bother she said as soon as i put the ornaments on then apparently he thought it was a a cat tree like oh you're gonna put toys on it for me and then she said he climbed it so she said she had to take all her ornaments off because he was climbing the tree and batting them off. Again, will she ever tell him no? Absolutely not. Okay, so I think also I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a quick little stitch around this because this is going to be actually a journaling card, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink up my backside here just a little bit first before I sew it. I guess I could do it afterwards because I am going to ink the thread afterwards anyway. So let's just... Okay, and I got a little bit more. I've kind of the, the uh, glue, the glue eraser things. I've been trying to do it to remove some ink that I don't like, but it doesn't work very well. So. Blend that in a little bit more. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So now I'm going to go and I'm going to sew around this one. And I'll be right back again. Okay. So I am back from the sewing machine. And I just did a little zigzag stitch all the way around here. Alright. So I'll park my butt back down. Yeah, I don't even feel like standing. Normally I stand when I craft, but not tonight. Tonight it's a lazy night. Just a relaxing, playing around, getting some craft on. All right, so that's all, all I'm doing, why I'm doing that is just to doll down that white thread. Okay, so that looks pretty cute. I really like that. So now this will just get tucked right in there like that. Very cute. Okay, I think I need, oh, I kind of want a couple embellishments. So I had some of this, this candy cane kind of thread or uh, uh, what is this? Baker's twine stuff. I kind of want to maybe um, 
I'm just pulling over here. I have um, I've cut out a bunch of little pieces and bits to work on this journal with. Uh, if you watched the very first video when I started making this, I was uh, cutting out pieces from my uh, from my di uh, my digital Christmas digital kit, and uh, I went and got an, out all my other pieces that I was. Um, working with and um, again a lot of these are from the pink monarch prints um, I bought one of her Christmas sets and uh, I really like a lot of the pieces in it and uh, so if you see these these a lot of these are from hers and then I also in here have some that came from like this one was a set from uh, that came from set I bought from Tina, a Shabby Dabby Duda. Um, she has a YouTube channel and an Etsy shop. But yeah, there was some really pretty, sh she really does like these dark greens and blues. A lot of those are her colors. She always uses those if you watch her channel. So I, uh, I got that kit too. And, uh, so now I'm just trying to dig in here, figuring out what I'm going to use. I kind of think I just want to use something small. Um, Keeping with kind of like the poinsettias and stuff, maybe I kind of like that, or even I have, your tail is in the way, dude. Um, should I do maybe in here? Um, bow looks better when it's coming from above, so I could do that and make it look like it's tied on there. That's really cute. Okay, let me ink this up here. So yeah, like all these pieces. These came from the uh, the Pink Monarchs print set. So I spent like a day cutting out like all these little fussy cut things. That's a day when you sit in front of the TV and you just start cutting. Okay, so that looks better. And then I kind of like that bow. Like I have a whole bunch of this crap. Like like this main, like this giant pile. Try to figure out how to use all that. Okay, so that looks kind of cute there. So I think, will you stop? That's, no, 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 no. He found a piece of string he thought he should eat. Okay, so let's just get this glued on here first. And kind of make it look like this is tying up that. All right, and then I think I need some lace or something underneath there. Make myself some room here. Oh, and I also found this stuff. This uh, I've never worked with this stuff before either. This I think they call this eyelash trim. Is that what they call it? I don't know. This they call it tickle knitting yarn here, but I uh, I went to. Uh, the Goodwill and got it for a dollar. Actually, it was 50% or half off that day. So I got it for 50 cents. So I've been using this because it looks really cool. I can't find my end. I'm trying to find the dang end. I really don't want to take it all apart. I was just pulling on this too the other day. Oh, I, I don't know. Anyway, I've been using that because it does look really cute on there. The little fringies, but it does make a mess. Okay, so I'm down here. I need to go digging in my... Mm. <laughs> what do I got in here? I need something to just stick out a little bit from that. And this is kind of pretty. Okay, I like that one. Let's let's pull this out. Okay, right there. So no, I just kind of want. Do I want to do this way? Like Maybe something. Dude, here. give me my knife back, man. Oh, that's cute. Okay, where'd my scissors go? Where'd they go? Just a little bit of something there. I got a mess over here. Yeah. It drives me nuts. Okay, let's glue this. 
little trim up here. So I want to know if you guys, when you start a journal or if you've ever made a journal, like when you, uh, you know, you, oh my, did you see that? The little thing you rolled away and there goes Stitch trying to get it. Hang on. Where'd it go? Okay, I got it. He, he would definitely eat that. Um, no, what I was saying was if you guys, when you start a journal and stuff, or if you've ever made a journal, you know, do you, uh, sometimes I think it's easy and maybe, you know, to get your pages together. You might even have a theme, but do you find it hard to decorate pages? Yes. Pause and paper! Oh, Lord. And there is, we need to come up with a name for that. Is that the, the moose call? The rebel yell. The rebel yell. Oh, gosh. Uh, I'm gonna, I, I think it's the, the pause call. Pause call, yeah! The pause call. <laughs> oh, gosh. We should print that on a t-shirt. Okay, so that looks really cool. I like how that turns out. And then you just have this here to be a nice big journaling card. There's a cool page idea. Yeah, I think I have it right there. You can hear my son in the background over there. They're playing their VR game and they're just talking to other people. Okay, so now I also had, I was gonna work on some envelopes here. Um, I was, this was another background. Um, if you can see, it has uh, like the really pretty uh, snowflakes on it, but um, when I coffee dyed it after I printed it, it all got pretty muted, muted everywhere. And then I just put some music paper on the inside there. So I'm thinking, thinking I want to oh attach this on trying to go through my signatures here to figure out what I have done yes, and where this might look good. I'm trying to use some of these really, like these pages here that have a lot of, actually, you know what? I think I'm just going to do this as a removable because it is really pretty. I don't want to glue it down. So let's just, let's just decorate this up. I have a couple other ones here I did. I was folding these. This one I haven't sewn around, but this one here, just a pretty just music page. And it's just a printed but onto coffee dyed them. paper. That's all these are, it's just coffee dyed paper. This one I just put some music page in it and made it a little bit thicker. I haven't done that to this one yet. So let's just, I'm gonna make this removable so I can kind of decorate it however I want. So maybe I want a little, Something on the back here. Oh, I got a bunch of those. Where's my... Oh, uh, I got a bunch of labels and everything in here. And a bunch of uh, just like square digital cards. Maybe I can build something on the front here. Let's get all this mess out. What do we got? What do we got? Okay, so this is just yeah. my mess of stuff I've been working on. I got a whole heap of a mess. I've started to make some journal cards and sew around some stuff. Okay, so what do I want? Okay, we got four people, they got six. Here's the plan, we just uh, all go... How about... Yeah, it's a very serious business over there on video games, just in case. Oh, then everyone just bum rush them. Yeah, they're, I don't even know what they play. I don't even ask, but my, my 12 year old is over there playing video games. Okay, so now I'm just got to go through these and pick and choose what I like. Oh, those are kind of cute and the colors match. Oh, this lady's also cute. Christian. Kind of like that snowflake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think I kind of like the teal backed ones. Um, here's just something plain maybe. What does this even say? Uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, some weird. Ready up, ready up, ready up. Um, that kind of looks oh, this, too plain. This is 
French. Oh, uh, here's French. Joël hey, Noël. Like, transfer to this team she kind of looks cute there, but what could we do with her? She needs something else. Either that or we need a bigger something. Okay, what do, what do we got? We got this. And then maybe a something like that on the front of this envelope for these guys. That's kind of cute. Or poinsettias. Yes, you hmm. Got to crawl, like, out. You got to crawl oh, like You're given too many choices and then you never know what to do. Oh, I got some little tags here. What are these guys? Are these too big? Will that? If I go, okay, if I go all the way down, well, I could fit that on there. Is that too much? Does that look too much? Is that that great big thing on there? I don't know. I think that's too much. See, this is why I don't do the record the uh, craft with me because it takes a lot of thinking. I'm not a real fast decision maker when it comes to putting journals together like this that I'm going to you know, that I want to eventually, you know, try to sell or something. And I just, I fuss a lot. Okay. I think the poinsettia, oh, that's kind of pretty, maybe. Have it both of them say a Merry Christmas. Okay. I think I kind of like that. Either that one or this one. Thank maybe you, the reds. Okay. I think I made my mind up on that. Okay, so let's just kind of move my mess out of the way. Okay, there we go. So I'm thinking, let's ink these guys up here. And I like the, the teal on it, or the, what I've we've been using, peacock feathers. This is such a strong color, so I don't know if you can see, but it, I am, like, just barely putting it on there. It makes a really pretty edge, though. I mean, I know on camera maybe it doesn't look real bright, but it puts just a tiny bit of color on there, enough just to, you can Let's see go. it, but I don't want it to be, like, so overpowering. Because it is a very, very strong color. It's I mean, I can. Using your brain. I can let this sit out and not dip it back in the ink thing um, for months and months, and it'll still be that strong. Okay, so that one's in teal. So this one, let's just do this one in the uh, vintage photo. And then I will go ahead, and I'll probably sew around both of these. And because I'm going to make this a removable, I'm not afraid of making it, you know, like too bulky or something. Because I think they can't do it. it'll be fine. Because I have other things in my this journal that are like three-dimensional. So I think it'll be okay. And I did have... I did have some of these, uh, these cute little... Teardrop, um, kind of a light green bead. They're pretty. And then these little satiny uh, flowers are kind of pretty too. I thought I might use some of those. A whole ton of buttons, but I don't think there's any buttons that I want to use. I did have... Uh, yeah, most of these are just... Yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe I'll just stick with my, um, my bling. Where'd my bling go? My little, these little bling things. Got a bunch of that. Okay, well, I am going to take this to the sewing machine, and I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So here I have went around my little, this is going to be my journaling card. I even did some fancy little stitching there. I thought those kind of looked like snowflakes. So I thought that was cute. And then here's my pocket. I'm just going to make this my pocket. So let's get all this stuff glued back down. And let's get this envelope finished. 
so you can see like how long you know some people can take to make a journal like just making one piece um, if you do a lot of detail on it it can take a long time so you know I was um, I, I really like and follow um, Pam at the Paper Outpost. Um, she's one of my favorites. Uh, Tina at Shabby Dabby Doodah. She's another one of my favorites. Um, Guys, quickly ready up. And uh, they've seemed like they've um, kept a few followers and whatnot on their YouTube channels. And uh, they both, uh, the journals that they make, are usually very heavily embellished. Um, and, you know, that's not yeah. to say, I mean, there's tons of people out there that go crazy and do crazy embellishments super super beautiful fancy laces and fabrics and you know I think that's what people like though you know people like all that uh, embellishing it's just like the fuller the better and and uh so they were talking like um Pam she has a uh, paper outpost she has a podcast and she was talking about you know she answers a lot of questions and stuff on her podcast and and she gets asked a lot all the time you know well what should you sell your journals for and what are they worth and you know what should I sell my journals worth if I want to sell them and and so many times her answer is you know what's your time worth and you know you know it's gotta it's gotta make sense to you yourself who's making it and uh and then I also thought you know, yeah, that's true. It makes a lot of sense. Like, how long is this actually going to take me to make? And and how much, you know, of my supplies am I putting into it? And uh, yeah. and then I'm also, you if, if I price it too high, is anybody going to want to buy it? Because I might not be as popular, you know, as some others. And you may not have as big as a following as some others. And, and you know, then it got me thinking, like, yeah, that's true. It's like, it's kind of like... Uh, like the name brands um people know those names and then they're like oh well i'll spend three hundred dollars because pam from the paper outpost made it and i know her name but then Susie at paper crafts and i'm just i, I completely made that one up she uh she has 16 followers and she makes the most gorgeous journals and they're perfect but she can't sell them for $25. You know what I mean? Like, does anybody else um, who actually makes journals and tries to sell them have that feeling, you know, of like, it is kind of that way. And then, and then she was talking about, um, you know, like, like people were saying like the competition and stuff. And, and she was trying to, you know, uh, tell everyone, you know, like, like, I don't want it to be a competition. Like, like, don't think of it that way. Like, we're all here to, you know, like, the the point of it is to, to have some fun. Like, I want you guys to, to be having fun doing this and not, you know, it's not supposed to be a stressful thing. Um, which is so true because, you know, I make these and I love making them and I do try to sell them, but it's not... Um, it's not going to make or break me if I, if I do sell it or not. But, you know, some people really are trying to make this their, their full-time business. And, and it's hard, you know. So, so I totally agree. I mean, I really try to support others, you know, out there. Um, I always, you know, subscribe to their, their channels. And, um, you know, I, uh, I will like their videos because I know it's, it's hard. It's hard to get followers and, it's hard to get people to, you know, want to watch your videos. And so, you know, especially if some people, you know, it's like, um, well, you know, it's like, it's all about style. Like, well, I might not like your style or, you know, um, you just don't, your crafting style isn't the same crafting style as mine. You know, so you've got to find people that you, you know, you enjoy watching. And, you know, I think that's great. And, uh, and so I, I have, I have a lot of channels that I watch and, uh, will participate in because I want to feel like I'm supporting them. And I kind of, I agree with Pam at the Paper Outpost, like support others, you know, make each other feel like we can share what we make, like take my ideas and use them. Um, you know, that's what, that's what we're doing here. Like, why would you start... A, a YouTube channel, 
you know, if you didn't want people to see your stuff. Um, and, you know, if you, uh, well, you no if you want that. people to learn from you, a lot of times that's what we do. We, we get in front of people, you know, like, um, like, yeah, that's the best way to do it. Like, let's start a YouTube channel and that's how we get in front of people. Um, but yeah, it just was, the whole concept was really kind of interesting to me. I, uh, I commute to work a little bit, so I, uh, a lot of times I listen to that in my, on my drive back and forth and. And so I listen to her podcast all the time and I, I just enjoy it. And, you know, sometimes she's, she's super silly, you know, like a lot of her stuff is just so darn goofy. She's, she's a fun person. And, um, and I'm still talking about Pam. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, I really get a kick out of her because she's very, Angel, very light in the way she right. presents stuff. Not a lot of seriousness, not a lot of, you know, yes, we're, we're um, fine. She doesn't take herself too seriously, it seems, um, especially not on camera and stuff and like on her podcast. So, yeah, she really makes me, uh, you know, stop and appreciate, you know, just just take things a little bit lighter. You know, don't be so so super serious. And uh, and yeah, so. So, yeah, I really I, I get a lot out of watching her channels and stuff. And it's kind of like, you know, uh, a lot of times you try to look for like a. Uh, a mentor or something and it's kind of funny like as she she doesn't even know I exist and I'm kind of using her as my mentor like okay well, if I can adopt some of her attitude towards this or you know maybe I shouldn't you know take it so seriously or be offended if you know my journal doesn't sell or you know it, it's just like you know like she said she's like no matter what you make it, there's got to be it's got to get in the right, in front of the right person's eyes. And that's true. Like, no matter what you make, even if you make the most gorgeous journal, unless it gets in front of somebody who wants it, it's never going to go anywhere. Like, duh, common sense, you know, but, but it's hard. It's frustrating. Um, you know, if you're doing this for the purpose of selling them, um, to not get frustrated when things don't sell. So anyway, enough of my rambling on, rambling, rambling on. Um, so yeah, I think that looks pretty good on the front there. So this is just going to be a little extra uh, journaling spot. And then I believe I want to just um, come in here and I will just maybe, it's too, yeah, I'm just going to make it like a, uh, just a, a removable. So I'll just go ahead and, uh, and clip that on there. But. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this video because I don't want this to continue. I mean, I could continue this for like hours and hours. So, so yeah, so, so we made that one. Oh, and I'll go back. I want to show you my, the other one I made. So, so yeah. And then we made this uh, cute little thing. So, so yeah, I'm going to just keep playing on with my uh, Christmas journal here and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye.